Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to discuss about pharmacology of vancomycin. These are actually glycopeptide antibiotics. You might have heard in other books like it comes under the heading of the glycopeptides. So do not confuse about glycopeptides or vancomycin. So glycopeptides are bactericidal in nature, or glycopeptides are another class of the antibiotic, which are bactericidal in nature means they can kill or destroy the bacterium completely. So they are, and these are cell wall synthesis inhibitors. The prototype of the glycopeptide is vancomycin. So I am discussing about the pharmacology of vancomycin. You can have the classification of the vancomycin. Different books have, have different antibiotics class. So this is the general classification of glycopeptides. That is the vancomycin, ticoplanin, and telvencin. I don't know what you people pronounce ticoplanin or telvencin. But the prototype of this group is vancomycin. Then we have the most important of pharmacology of vancomycin is mechanism of action. So, and let me pause the video here. I'm always starting the always try to mention the normal function. Then I come up to the mechanism of action of particular drugs. So. Initially, the normal what is the normal function of the vancomycin or sorry the bacterium or the cell wall membrane or synthesis or any other drug. So we focus on this statement carefully. So normally, bacterial cell wall contains a rigid peptidoglycan layer that has a high that has a highly cross-linked structure composed of long polymers of an acetyl muramic acid NAM and an acetyl glucosamine glucosamine NAC these units have the side terminals known as DLR DLR and in this way they form the polymers of the NAC NAM and ultimately build up the cell wall so when vancomycin given it inhibits the cross linking of the terminal D-alanyl D-alanine this is the terminal that I discussed earlier thereby preventing the synthesis and polymerization of NAM and NAC actually this NAM and NAC polymerization by means polymerization means elongation of the chain so do not confuse about it in the peptidoglycan layer so this binding of the vancomycin to the D-alanyl D-alanyl prevents the incorporation of the NAM NAC peptides subunits into the peptidoglycan matrix this inhibition weakens the bacterial cell wall and ultimately causes leakage of the intracellular components resulting in bacterial cell death so do not confuse about this generally when comycin in a nutshell or in a conclusion is a glycopeptide antibiotic that exerts its bactericidal effect by inhibiting the polymerization of the peptidoglycan layer so now this is the video uh, sorry this is the image I have made here in order to understand you people what and how vancomycin going to act I hope you people see the cursor of the mouse generally it is a uh, these are the the colorful things are the bacteria cell wall composed of NAM NAG units okay and it is the cell membrane and we are not concerned about it for now just look at here the green one is the n acetyl glucosamine the red one is n acetyl muramic acid these are the main components of the cell wall okay now you can see the blue one on each side of the nam nag unit there is a blue color this blue color is called d alanyl d alanine which i have mentioned dl or dl so these are the terminal these are the terminal units of this NAG and NAM and so what is their function these are the units which are used for building up the polymers which are used for the elongation of the chains they are joined this matrix sorry now you see this DLA DLA is joined with another DLA DLA and DLA mean what we can say alanyl and D-alanine component with glycosidic bond this is the glycosidic bond the dashed ones which is catalyzed by trans glycosylase enzyme okay 
now you have to remember these things in order to understand the vancomycin reaction so what these actually do one subunit then they bind with glycosidic bond another magnum unit then this terminal bind with another terminal and this terminal bind with another terminal and this terminal bind with another terminal in this way they are making the elongation of the chain so bacterium or the microorganism keep on synthesizing keep on elongating elongation keep on polymerizing themselves by attaching with these units okay so now understand when we give vancomycin it inhibits this bond so what happened when this bond is inhibited so that means these unit this unit is not able to bind with another this unit so there is a you can say disrupting the cell wall and in this sense cell wall become weak or you can say irregular and the molecules that are present inside the cell they are going to leak outside of the cell and thereby preventing the cell wall synthesis or you can say destroying the cell wall by inhibiting the elongation process or polymerization process i hope this makes sense you people this is the easiest way i can and i can make you understand so still if you have any question let me know then we discuss about pharmacokinetics vancomycin is fda approved for administering for administration by either intravenously injection intravenous injection or orally or oral route vancomycin has poor oral absorption or poor bioavailability therefore it must be administered intravenously in order to treat the most systemic infections oral vancomycin has low systemic absorption as we said it has low bioavailability and is only effective for treating intestinal infections therefore it is only indicated for treatment of clostridium difficile associated diarrhea cdad pseudomembranous colitis and staphylococcal enterocolitis these are the oral antibiotic oral vancomycin indication oral vancomycin is not appropriate treatment option for systemic infection as i have discussed earlier so systemic infection affecting other organism or parts of the body vancomycin is not absorbed orally so therefore we give iv administration it is widely distributed after iv administration and is excreted mainly unchanged in urine with half life of 6 hours then we have uses now i have mm, mentioned here like spec you remember spec that means specification this is the uses that as for staphylococcus enterocolitis staphylococcus infection including septicemia skin and soft tissue infections bone infections as well then we have p p that is pseudomembranous colitis and e that is endocarditis or you can say diphtheriac enterococcal staphylococcal and streptococcal species then we have clostridium difficile associated diarrhea for oral administration so what what i have made here that is spec spec means specification remember this word it will help you the for remembering or uh, recalling the uses of the vancomycin spec that is the spectrum which is going to covered by vancomycin that means we have s we have p we have e and we have c so i hope this makes sense and you people can understand it then we have mechanism of resistance for vancomycin as discussed earlier the we have various reason for resistance that a uh, bacterium can made now here modification or changes end of the amino acid precursor dlnl dlnimp it can result in modification of the precursor and therefore when comycin glycopeptide will not be able to bind this this is the most common method by which enterococcus become resistant with vancomycin this type of resistance is seen or you can see let me 
let me revise here this is commonly known as vancomycin resistant enterococcus vre so means uh, let me understand let me make you easy so you can understand it remember what vancomycin actually do when we give vancomycin it inhibits the elongation of the chain by blocking the that glycosidic bond hope you remember that that means d alanyl d alanine that is the residue that is the terminal unit which is used for elongation of the chain so if that d alanyl d alanine or dl dl is changed or it will be modified with any other like you can say amino acid or any other peptide so it will get modification of the precursor so vancomycin will not be able or any glycopeptide will not be able to bind this again i hope this makes sense angioedema and hypotension as well so do not confuse about these things this is the main ideas that we are having with vancomycin then we have less common ideas less common adverse drug reaction or adverse effects include or comprised of local phlebitis chills drugs fever drug having drug related fever skin rash or eosinophilia and reversible neutropenia these are the basic terms i hope this makes sense to you people let me understand you about these things what is phlebitis what is eosinophilia and what is neutropenia